Hey guys, how's it going? Back with some more Blink Dota Limbo tier action. We got Crazy versus Kunkarum. I'm Zambrella, once joined by joined by Smoney. That first game was pretty intense, right? Yeah. It looks like we're gonna have the same heroes again. Ah, what a surprise, what a surprise. What is this Chaos Knight band though? That is all Black Bob plays, really. That is his signature hero. Is it? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. You beat, did you know Black Bob? Yeah, I played with him at line 57. Oh, nice. Is he, is he black? No. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Alright, well, if that's all he plays, then I think that's a fair enough ban, right? So he's he's going to be in a bit of trouble here, is he? Is he their carry uh, player? Yeah, he normally plays with strength carries, I think. Ah, but I don't think they have an Earth Spirit player either, so. Sven's pretty popular, so he should be alright. But uh, anyway, on to uh, into the actual picks now. Kunkarum first picked the lion, and they go with the tide hunter as well. So, also team fight versus uh, Crazy's ventral spirit and Zeus pick off here. Pick up here. Um, I do wonder whether Kunkarum wants to ban and you know, ban Spectre, maybe ban Faces Void or the Nature's Prophet, something like that. Death Prophet gets second phase ban by Crazy. He's there. I was going to go through these like lightning. Um, yeah, the Faces Void banned out as well. By Kunkel Rum. So we're not going to see that uh, Zeus Spectre Global Strat. No, I, I'm. I can't. I'm not really that upset about it. I'm all for the, all for different heroes. You know. Yeah. I mean, Tide Hunter has seen quite a lot, but he's he's pretty damn entertaining to watch. So that's fine by me. What hero would you, would you want to see? Well, in, in my ideal world. Yeah. Uh, I like Magnus. Magnus is my favorite hero. Coupled that up, coupled that up with a Dazzle Pogner, and I'm one happy guy. That's a strange combination of heroes. Not really saying that would... Yeah, it's not really the best draft, is it? But, you know. Those are my three favorite heroes. Clockwork is pretty damn fun as well. Got Magnus Ember Spirit. That's good shit. I'm uh, Mag best best Magnus player UK by the way. UK, wow. Not really. Not really. <laughs> you might be. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty good at him. Gonna be TA banned out. They saw how much work TA did last game. I guess. I assume these guys were probably watching. At least some of them, anyway. <sighs> Abaddon, jeez. A new hero, I'm happy, but pretty good against the lion, actually. If you just think, well, in fact, any of these uh, Kunkur Rum, Kunkur's Rum lineup, so Abaddon uh, with the Aphotic Shield, you can purge off the stuns, the hex. If he can sit far enough back, doesn't get hit by the Ravage. In fact, even if he does get hit by the Ravage, you could just uh, press his R, use his ultimate, uh, borrow time, uh, purge off the stun, and then you can put an Aphotic Shield on one of his allies, and suddenly you're a uh, your big Ravage. Doesn't really hasn't really affected two heroes. Five seconds remaining. I'm, I'm be interested if they put this in the offlane or in a support position. I'm not really sure how they play it. Me neither. I, I think it works pretty well either way. I think if you're a confident Abaddon player, you can make a lot of pressure in the offlane. Um, you always have the back like because if it's like especially if it's like a dual lane. You could just get so much harassed with just one level in and Curse of Avernus. You put Aphotic Shield on yourself. You kind of just run at them, and they take so much freaking damage. And then you always have the uh, the Mist Coil to deny yourself if need be. It's fair. It's like what is quite easy to do, like relatively. Yeah. Um, I mean, at level one, it's hard because it only does seventy five damage, but. Once you get it to level 2, it's like 100, 100 damage. It becomes fairly easy just to use it between right clicks, as long as you're not stunned. Go for the deny if need be. Alright, there's the Dazzle. So, Kunkarum going for a fairly defensive, uh, defensive support here, the Dazzle. Not too much in the... 
aggressive side of things. Normally we see the 044 skill build. But sometimes sometimes maxing the poison touch touch is definitely the way to go. Um even just getting one level on it, if Abaddon is in the off lane, a solo off lane, it, it makes such a good tool for harassing because you can just trade while he sort of runs around. He either tries to run at you, and then you run away, right clicking him while he's slowed by the poison touch where he runs away. And you get a few extra right clicks in as well. Yeah, and it might indicate that they're going for a, a physical heavy lineup with the uh, weave. Yeah, good point. Whether they want to go for something like a Sven next. Might work out okay. Natural BKB carrier, so you can get that pretty quick. And Zeus starts doing no damage. I guess this is one of the fun things about like casting these... I say non-professional non games is that you sometimes get alternate picks. You're not like used to seeing day in day out, you know. Yeah. Sven stands ready. Yeah, Sven's picked up. I'm uh, I'm not too surprised. I almost feel like this was, in a way, a deny pick as well. Just to stop Sven... Kuro from getting it. Sven is just so strong in this patch, really. Yeah, they don't have anything to actually kite him at the moment either. Once he gets a BKB. Like, sort of no BKB piercing slows or stuns. Um, and Kunkka Run, they can't really... Like, I think a strong hero against Sven is Beastmaster just because of the boar slow. But they've already got their offlane Tidehunter. So unless they want to run it mid... I mean, the Beastmaster... Beastmaster mid here would be okay, I think. They'll have a shitload of disable. You want a BKB piercing one. Plus the slow as well. I mean, Beastmaster Lion is a fantastic combo as well. They'd have the Hawk to scout out. So Tidehunter would be able to get a good Ravage. Or the potential to. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll get to see a Beastmaster, I think would be pretty strong here. And they're going with a Viper, another hero actually with a, who can kite the Sven around with a BKB piercing ultimate. A Viper Strike. Yeah, Viper's uh... I would say the go-to hero for kiting around big strength carries like Sven, maybe Tiny. Hmm. It's good against Zeus as well in the mid lane, just because of the uh, corrosive skin. Yeah, Zeus is just going to kill himself. One of the few heroes you want to get in and get hit with that arc lightning. <laughs> Actually, both teams really running out of reserve time here. Been a fairly long draft. Going to make the most out of the time they've got. Anti-Mage banned out from Clan Crazy. Because Kukuram, I feel like they really need a hard-hitting hero now, though. Tide Hunter doesn't really offer you any like physical damage. Viper as well, unless you get to the really late game, he generally goes for either goes for an early mech or something like a, a an Aghanim Scepter into a Manta, and I guess then you can build into like the Butterfly MKB as well if need be. I feel like Viper can kind of go more aggressive this game, seeing as the Tide Hunter could get the mech and Greaves. True, or the Dazzle. <laughs> But they ban out the Darkseer. I mean, Darkseer would be pretty sweet for Clan Crazy, actually. Just a, a big vacuum into the Sven Cleave and the stun. Quite a hard combo to land off, though. But he's not blue. Ah. Uh, damn. Um, the blue heroes. That's why I need a list of heroes in front of me. I already should. Well, I've only got five seconds to choose. I'm going to go with the Warlock here. I'm guessing this is an offlane Abaddon. Yeah, I would say it's pretty fun. Um, not a blue hero, like you pointed out, but his ultimate is just ridiculous. Allow, I think his Warlock plus the upheaval will be a way to allow Sven to get his right-click damage off, not to mention Abaddon will be slowing everyone down with his Curse of Avernus as well. But I like that combo, actually, and no one's really liked to get a BKB. The up people doesn't pierce BKB, does it? No, it doesn't pierce spell immunity. But... Viper, probably the only candidate Drow for now. Ranger. It's going to be the Drow Ranger. The Kunkka Rum. Interesting, the Drow Ranger and Viper. That will help Viper out a lot in that mid lane. But uh, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, Sven normally gets Blink. And I think the Drow Ranger is really uh, 
vulnerable to that. Also, the Ventral Spirit Swap. Yes, agreed. However, I feel like Kunkaram, they, they're looking to get aggressive here. You don't, take a, you don't pick a tie to sit back. I mean, sometimes you can if there's like a big pushing lineup, but you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, I actually think Kunkarum's lineup could do really well. They need to like get a really good early start and just fight, 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 you know what I mean? Like, Drow get level 6 pretty early on. That means Viper's going to be hitting hard. There's It's going to be so hard for Crazy to fight into the Ravage as well. I guess they'll have the Warlock ultimate potentially, but... And Dazzle, can you just constantly like keep healing his allies up and up and up? And there's not going to be much that Crazy can do about it. However, if Sven does get some space, he gets Blink Dagger. Maybe Warlock gets a good ultimate and Crazy get the vision to get aggressive. Which with Zeus isn't too tricky. And there's potential for them to uh, win team fights as well. Uh, while we've got this pause, we'll quickly run through who's playing what. So over on Radiant's side, Team Crazy. We've got Tango X playing the Abaddon. Recon on the Warlock, Beach playing the Zeus, Liam on the Venge, and finally Black Bob on the Sven. Over on the die side, we've got Tutti playing the Lion. Tutti. Forehead <laughs> is your Drow Ranger. Scooty is the Dazzle. Lazarus, I think his name is, yeah. is Tidehunter. And Jay on Viper. This is this is looking to shape up to be pretty uh, pretty good game. As for some reason, my eyes have got really sleepy. <laughs> uh. Sleeps cast. Yeah, no. That's right, guys. I got this. I got this. You got a pause. You can go get an energy drink. Ah oh, man, no, I'm gonna be sleeping after this. I don't wanna be up all night. <laughs> don't have any energy drinks in the house. Yeah, I'll be very interested to see how this draw actually works out in the end. They do have ways, like you said, to get on top of her. But if she can sit back, get defend, defended by the tide, the grave as well, she can output so much damage. Do you think she maybe goes for a blink? I I would think it is a it's a pretty yeah it's a good option. Yes, it gets cancelled quite easily by Zeus, however. It's very easy to dodge things like Venge Stun and the Sven Stun, and you can even blink away from the Warlock Ultimate as long as you have vision on him. It's quite a long, like it's a very telegraphed spell, you know what I mean? Yeah. The cast animation is fairly obvious. Tootie, mind your manners. What? Tootie and Scotty. Tootie and Scooty. Looks like we're ready to get going again, once again. So, just one game. It's the best of two, but the game's played non-consecutively, I guess. So, uh, basically a standalone game. Crazy up against Kunker Run. There's, man, two heroes from Kunker Run TP, both simultaneously. So the top and bottom name is going to be yeah, Tidehunter. Man, I can't speak. Ugh, Tidehunter. He's put down the Sentry Ward. This does. Let me get my uh, fancy uh, alt. Clicking, that does indeed block up the camp. And he gets another Observe War down, which also blocks up the pool camp. You know what, I'm not entirely sure whether this is, like, blocking up that camp is the best deal for when you're playing in the offlane, just because it can, you can use it to pull this way. But... I mean, on the uh, dire offlane, it's a lot harder to pull. Yeah, that's true. But it's certainly possible. You know, it's kind of like a... It depends what you want to do. In fact, uh, Abdon is going to get spotted out here straight away with this Observer Ward that was put down very early on. I think it was by the Dazzle, or was it by the... It was Dazzle, yeah. Get a Sentry Ward down straight away. And they're going to get the D Ward. Who are they going to... Who are they? Okay. i got to give it to the Lion. I thought maybe they'd give it to the Drow. Looks like the 100-100 Rune. So they're going to be split evenly amongst the mid laners. Jay's going to get that on the Viper. I mean, we're on the bottom lane. It's going to be Beach on the Zeus. 
and gets that little boost in golden experience. So he's gonna actually he's gonna get the uh, the courier to deliver him uh, his bottle, and we have the usual usual pauses, UK Dota pauses. issue can be uh, rectified with an easy disconnect reconnect I don't think the radiant side has any uh, sentry wards so they can't deward the block camps oh, that's, a, that's a slight oversight they're not going to have that pull camp, so these two supports are, you know, it's going to be a little bit tricky for them to maybe get some experience if the, the creep equilibrium isn't, isn't perfect, if they can't manage their pushing and, like I said, the creep equilibrium, they uh, you know, might give Tide an awful lot in this lane. He does get the range creep in front, I don't know if it's going to be enough, yep, it's going to get denied, and the creep wave will push towards him. Hawk's actually got a pretty decent... Uh, attack animation and reasonable base damage and Shadow Word does a ridiculous Stop amount of damage at level 1. Look at it. Already Lazarus down to half HP. Meanwhile, I'm guessing you were talking about top lane. Yeah, Abaddon just got harassed under hell. He forced to use his health. So, still no first blood. Not quite yet, anyway. Once again, Thailand is going to get harassed back with this Shadow Word. What a painfully annoying spell. So this is why I talked about the Dazzle is uh, using the Poison Touch early on to try and harass the Abaddon back. Of course, he can purge that off with the Aphotic Shield, but it kind of uses him to use it in a sort of suboptimal way. Like, he wants to use it to try and harass if possible while trading, but it just explodes and does no damage to anyone. And... Unfortunately, it looks like the wave's going to push a little bit in favor of the Abaddon for now. So, okay, the mid matchup. I think I think it can be said that Viper should have a better lane than the Zeus, especially once he gets a few points in Crows of Skin, which he hasn't gone for just yet. I feel like he should. And in fact, I'm very surprised he hasn't put any in there yet. Yeah, I feel like uh, you go for one in Poison Attack, maybe one in another Toxin after first level with corrosive skin. No, he's gonna he put definitely it now, max but... corrosive skin. Maybe he wasn't quite thinking or just signing. I'll get it later on. I can get it now. Another courier. He's gone boots, so no bottle for the Viper. Doesn't like exactly need it too much. So might want some HP regen, regen somewhere. I think the magic stick might do him good enough. That's a good point. I think it'll be a, an okay substitute. But Zeus is having it. You know, he's doing fine against the Zeus uh, against the Viper so far, however. This is a smoked up lion. He's got both the Earth Spike and the Hex ready and waiting as Beach is going to step quite far forward now. They're going to wrap around. This could be the death. This could be our first blood. Zeus gets got on here. The Hex comes out. Now the stun, but there's going to be a TP coming in from the Vengeful Spirit. He can throw out the stun onto Lion if, if he can, but they're going to get the first blood anyway. The stun's not going to be incoming. Is this no mana after the TP? Warlock comes in as well, so forcing two support rotations and finding nothing while Abaddon is going to get harassed out here. Drow Ranger with boots advantage over the Abaddon. Plus one level in the Frost Arrows, but... So it's going to be enough to force him back. They don't get the kill. However, they do get the kill in that mid lane, like we just witnessed. Yeah, I'm not sure why the Ventral Spirit didn't throw the stun. She instead threw the uh, Wave of Terror. Which... Oh yeah, Wave of Terror, then she didn't have mana. Yeah. A slight mismanagement in uh, mana, I guess. Fortunate. She's going to sit at top lane, try and secure the rune. Not that Zeus, like, entirely needs it, but... If it's a bounty rune, it's always nice to have. And there it is. He's gonna bottle up the Venge as well. The Venge now has mana, and they're actually gonna smoke up together. Uh, but this is a fairly inopportune time, as Viper's just gonna back himself off, and now with Viper Strike and two levels in Corrosive Skin. Oh, <laughs> Warlock. Denying the war... Uh, denying... Whatever that, I can't remember what the rune was. I think it was regen, right? 
Mm -hmm. uh, Viper is not going to take too much damage from this Shadow Word just because of the Crows of Skin. Still, there's this Vengeful Spirit sitting in the mid lane. The smoke is about to wear off, and I don't think they can kill Viper here. They're going to throw out everything they can, but he might just be able to turn it around. He's got nine stick charges as well. I think he could have baited them in there, especially with the Lion sitting behind him, but decides to back off. And just going for the sake of play rather than testing his luck. It's not luck, my friend. It's skill. But you're, you're right, you're right. It, uh, you know... Might as well play, make the safer play if you're not entirely comfortable on what your hero could take. I guess he did only have two points in the Crows of Skin. And although Tidehunter's taking quite a lot of Arasi, he's up to level four and a half. Whereas the Abaddon... Abaddon's only level two, very close to level three. I thought he was getting more than this, but... That's not happening. Tidehunter's been uh, using his stack, jungle stack, with his Iron Talons well. All right. Lion smoked up in this mid lane once again. They can catch out the Zeus for a second time. They're going to move on forward. Can they get the Hex in time? They are going to be able to get the Hex. Now the stun. Viper also throws out the Viper Strike. I don't think there's as much Zeus can do about this. He's going to throw out what magic Danny can. Damage he can, but it's onto the Viper. I would have probably chosen Lion to at least be the reciprocant of the Lightning Bolt. Once again, a nice smoke rotation. If it works once, I'm sure it can work the second time, and it does. This Viper's now feel... level 7. Sorry? I feel like they need a ward somewhere up here because they've just been smoking up here all the time. Yeah. Nice. And because Lion's not been in the lane, Dazzle's been to get, to get some decent experience. He's now up to level 4.5. Drow Ranger's very close to that level 6. His Abaddon is running away. They know where he is. A couple more right clicks should do it. They need to throw out the gust. Plus the right clicks. One more. Should be able to do it. He goes down. Couldn't quite get off that Aphotic Shield to keep him alive, and that's going to be Drow Ranger's level 6. Just start maybe thinking about pushing this top lane tower down. Sven goes for Blink before Boots. Really? Like, unless you're, like, going to fight now, I don't think there's much point in doing this. You know, like, it doesn't offer you any better, it doesn't help you farm quicker. Unless you're going to be jumping between jungle camps, but you can't really sustain that because you don't have any lifesteal at the moment. He went for the max storm hammer, so I, I really hope he starts fighting a lot. Meanwhile, yeah, it's just he yeah. doesn't, he can't stack, he can't get the increased attack speed. Meanwhile, mid lane, J. They're gonna be able to kill him at Thunder God's right. Oh no, Zeus! He kills himself. By throwing out the Thunder God's Wrath, he gets to level 4 Crows of Skin, and he dies because of it. And meanwhile, on the top lane, Abaddon is going to get gusted up. Two more right clicks from the Drow Rager should be able to kill him off, and it does. This game is just falling apart for crazy. Zero for five, favoring Kunkarum now. Now Sven's wandered mid, with no fight to attend. And no boots. <laughs> This tries to skip you so much attack speed. Yeah, this... Uh, I'm not sure about this early blink, to be honest. I might eat my words when he finds a kill with it, but who's he gonna... He's not gonna blink on the tide, is he? And he's just TP'd down to the bottom lane. I guess he was hoping to maybe help his Zeus out in the mid lane, but... I Stop guess goes it's the down. only person you could kill is Drow. Because yeah. Lion's just going to hex and stun you. Top tower is under He's gone down to this bottom lane to farm now. I think if you're going to fight, you just go fight. Leave the bottom lane to one of your supports to get some experience or something. Get that level 6 up on your uh, Warlock, maybe. There's another two supports plus the mid laner for Kunkarum. They're looking to maybe get aggressive. Okay, well... They're going to back out now, realizing they were spotted by an Observer Ward, but they get the D Ward at least. Dazzle, level five and a half now. Game's going ridiculously well for Kunkarum. They've made really good rotations to both that mid lane. And uh, they're getting a couple of kills on the top lane as well. Tidehunter's got that level six. In fact, they really want to try and get the Sven, but Sven's, Sven's spidey senses are tingling a little bit. 
He's just going to back off into the tree line behind this tower. Oh, they get an Observer Ward. Venge, you are in some serious trouble now. Throws out the Wave of Terror, but the Minus Armor isn't going to protect you. As Lazarus is still with them. And another TP in from Warlock. Yes, this is space for Zeus. And that's a plus side. Meanwhile, Drow gets a bit... Looks like he got, she got aggressive on the Abaddon, but... Not going to make too much of a difference in the end. This is forcing the Sven and the uh, Warlock all the way back. Yeah, it's just, just fairly inefficient play from Crazy, it seems. I wouldn't say like it's them playing bad, they've just made like a few bad decisions and it's, it's really hurt their early game. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of like they don't really know what they want to do. Hmm. I could, uh... I get what you're saying. Looks like they're going to smoke up and go for the, uh, possibly the Drow, who now has a Dragonlance. She's got a Lion. And the Tinehunter behind her. Sven even used that Gold Strike. Oh, they're going to blink on and try and kill off Jay if they can. They got a lot of magic damage, but he's pretty freaking tanky. And a bunch of stick charges. They throw the Viper Strike on the Sven. Now the Grave comes out just as a precaution. They're going to turn and try and kill off the Sven with only one point in Warcry. He's got no armor. Forehead TPing in now. Gets the silence onto Zeus. And as they can't quite finish him off, the stun hits the Dazzle. He's already used his Grave, but he throws out that Shadow Dance. And even with a three-man rotation, including God Strength, they could not bring down the Viper. This is the, what the Max Crows of Skin does. And he's got Mechanism complete now. So it's going to be even harder. It's just... This Sven could not touch him at all. He gets one swing, maybe two, and then suddenly he's slowed. Okay, nice job there. You, uh, you got a big sword, but you can't reach me. Nanny nanny nana. Although uh, Lion maybe got a little bit aggressive here. He's got to be so careful. There's no swap on the Venge, though, so he's still alive. The heals come through. I think Kunkarum can quite happily get out of here. Kunkarum have quite aggressive warding. And, like, they're spotting out the... Non existent Sven stacks. They're spawning out the bottom lane if anyone's farming. And they're spawning out if anyone goes for Roshan. It's yeah. like Crazy can't really go anywhere. You're right, and 12 minutes in, we're seeing nearly over 7.5k net worth leave in Kunkurum's favor. 7k experience. And they're going to just go for Roshan now. They've got level 6 on Drow Ranger. They've got Mech on the Viper, so Viper can tank this up quite a lot. Tone Hunter, does he get... Does he reduce... No, it doesn't reduce Roshan's damage, but... They can kite him around a bit with the Mech. They've got also the heals from Dazzle, wherever that folk is. Yeah, he's on his way, so he can buff his allies up with the Weave Armor. Need be. This should be a fairly easy Roshan takedown, and... 13 into the minutes into the game, it's not something you really expect, or at least... Uh, hope that your enemies are doing. And that's going to be Drow Ranger with the Aegis. And they could easily take another team fight, take another tower with this. They're already so far ahead, being seven kills up to zero. There's Lion looking to run on forward. But I guess there's there's the Sven uh, Blink, but he hasn't fi even finished off the treads after picking up the Bling Dagger. He's still a race band off it as well. He just hasn't been able to farm as effectively as he wanted. No. And yeah, I think this is crazy doing the right thing. They have no ultimate on the Warlock. He's only level 4. Yes, he's close to level 5, but it's the level 6 that matters. And I think fighting KR head-on would just be, uh, would be a nightmare. This Lion's close to his level 6, but there's no stopping KR now. Kunkaram quite happy to just keep on going. That Drow Ranger now with the Dragon Lance doesn't even get hit by the tower. Just Slowly siege as uh, siege away. Stun goes on the tide, but the heals coming in from Dazzle. It's going to keep him fairly well topped up. They do have the extra the uh, the armor as well. The weave armor is going to be wearing off fairly shortly. And we are only 14 minutes in. Taking the tower isn't the easiest thing in the world. And I think Kunkar's rum, Kunkar rum, I should say. Okay, 
Oh, oh, are they doing the fake back? Oh, they're doing it. Oh, this is so cheeky. Oh, but we'll crazy fall for it. They've got to get rid of this creep wave first. Maybe Sven will now decide to uh, realize he needs more farm and push up with the next creep wave. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. As, uh, I think, uh, crazy, we see a circle being drawn around their jungle. They realize maybe, maybe Kunkorama is still in the area. It's not safe. So let's all go down the mid lane. Smoke is going to wear off now. I'm not sure if that Ventral Spirit with the Wave of Terror scouted them out. But either way. I think it did because they're back. Like, yeah. But it should be probably another free tower for Kunkorum. This tower is just taking so much damage. Yep. Goodbye T2 tower in the mid lane. And they're probably just going to move on to the next T2 tower in the top lane. Bring out those next set of items. they got drums. And you see Viper, you know, off the mech you might think he goes for like an Ags. But he's just going to go for these like early mid game items. And they're just going to try and win this game in the next 10-15 minutes. Dry Ranger picks up an Eagle Song. And that's just going to buff up her and her allies damage so much. This Viper yeah, is hitting for 150 damage. They're definitely going to just win this as soon as possible, and I think they can. Indeed. Because nothing's coming out for the Sven, the Zeus, any anyone. Alright. Crazy, you have to make a big play here, but they're trying to make big plays without ultimates on Warlock or the Vengeful Spirit. What play can they really make? Yeah, a swap, maybe. There's no swap, yeah, that's why. Yeah, think about their initiation, and it's just not there. It's the Sven, but the Sven, Sven dies blade. too quickly, right. They'll just stick the Viper and the Drow on the front lines. You go on the Viper, you can't kill him. You go on the Drow, she's got ages. And you probably can't kill Drow. her anyway. So. Drow, I think, can just sit behind the tower range and just hit it. Hanging up a bit of damage here, but... The heals are going to come in from Dazzle anyway. Maybe they're just trying to bait Drow. It's not a bad idea. They jump on Drow, the Ravage comes out, and easy, easy win team fight. do have to be very careful with these. You, if you overextend even a little bit, you can get punished a lot. That tower hurts a lot. It's hitting for 152 damage. Lost the minus armor from the Drow. Using that drums once again on the Viper. It's tied up to... He's going to sit in the front lines now. Doesn't want to take too much damage. And Drow is pretty low. They still want to maybe try and bait onto her if they can. More heals come out from Dazzle. He's yet to get an earn charge, and that's an ultimate being used by Sven. He's had enough. He wants to jump in. He's got the A-Fodder shield. Gets to start onto the Drow Ranger, but remember, like I said, she's got the ages. The heals come out, plus the grave. She's still alive, that finger. And now the counter ravage catching out three. They've lost two already on Crazy side, but there's the level six ultimate coming out from the... Uh, coming out from the... whatever that guy's called, the Warlock. Uh, but it's an ultra kill for Jay. Denied the Rampage by the borrowed time, it seems. That's going to be Hage's timing out. A perfect timing, really. And there's Drow Ranger and company are going to take out this first set of racks. Move over towards the mid lane. I guess one of the plus sides of being such low level is your respawn time is very low. So everyone up from, will be up from crazy in the next 7 seconds. But not before they've lost their T3 tower. Possibly even more. The problem is their ultimates won't be up. And that's really all they can fight around. And that's GG. Okay. GG. 18 minutes in. I honestly, this was just so well played from KR. They clearly practiced this strat. They knew what they wanted to pick, and they won the game. Yeah, just very disciplined, very, uh, just very well played. Yeah, I, I honestly just don't think there's anything more. And I think Kunku Rum lineup just works really well against Crazy's lineup as well. Yes, they got the Zeus and the Sven, but. Zeus was hard countered by the Viper, and I guess Sven was hard countered by the Viper. Hence why Viper is currently 8 0 and 1. Good early rotations from the Lion as well really helped out Viper dominate that mid lane. Tidehunter got plenty of levels where the Abaddon did not, and Dry Ranger got free farm. 
don't think there's really much more to say about it, to be honest. Well, Crazy didn't get a single kill in that game. Yeah, yeah, that might have something to do with it. <laughs> so, I guess that's it for uh, today's. That's all the Limbo games played. Uh, what's going to be up tomorrow? Let's have a look. Tomorrow we have... Oh, we've got a whole bunch of games. So we're going to have uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to have something different versus the Yellow Fellows. So that's the, the scrub tier. Then we're going to have Team Sensors versus Pub Crawlers at 8.30. That's the Try Hard tier. And then the Try Hard tier game at 10 o'clock will be Eustace versus Addiction Esports. Actually, there's going to be another game at 7 o'clock. Maybe that will be covered by someone else. Virtual Banter versus Say Yes to Anime. So Thursday, the day of Dota, apparently. But anyway, thanks, Simone, for joining me for that. Another game. Thank you for having me again. Uh, no worries, no worries. And uh, obviously, guys, if you did enjoy this, you can follow us over at Twitch and Twitter at BlinkDotaUK. And you can follow me on Twitter at Zambrady101 and Smoney at Smoney Dota. But good night, guys. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>